Welcome to the second part of the Tsunami build for the Great Guitar Bill Off. Here we have our trusty supervisor helping us along the journey. Hello there, everyone. She's hiding something. What is she hiding? So you need to transfer Wait. this. We need to transfer this on the head of the guitar? And something like that here, too. And there, too? Hold up. Can I transfer that some other way? Not by hand? You may, but it needs to be perfect. Well, then let's start transferring the pattern on the body and the head, right? But you need to be precise. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's hit the road. Now that the pattern has been transferred to the head of the guitar, next step, transferring the pattern on the body of the guitar, but with laser. So let's fire up the laser, not my laser, somebody else's laser. I don't know. Let's go. So you might be thinking, what the hell are you gonna do with those lines on the body anyway? Well, let me tell ya. I'm gonna make cloisonne on top of the guitar. Wait, you know what's cloisonne? Let me get you up to speed. In a nutshell, cloisonne is basically just a decorative work in which a of glass, in my case, colored sand is used and is separated by strips of flattened wire placed edgewise on a metal backing but again in my case I'm gonna use a wooden backing because I'm on a guitar body I'm gonna glue this flattened wire along the lines using that glue and I'm gonna fill the voids with colored sand to which I'm gonna add some binder so hopefully the grains of sand are gonna bind and hold together once that is dry I'm gonna fill the whole thing with epoxy just so it's sealed from the elements and probably wear and tear. So, without further ado, let's start the long and tedious process of gluing the wire. But before I can start with the cloisonne, I need to add edge binding all around the body of the guitar and the head, since I'm gonna pour epoxy and I don't want it to seep over the edges, so I'm gonna use brass as my edge binding. So yeah, let's start it with edge routing channel edge, yes. channel for the edge binding has been routed out, we can start gluing the brass strips, right? As it turns out this brass isn't very pliable, so I placed it in a furnace overnight on charcoal and now we have heat treated brass which is very soft and very pliable and we can start gluing the brass on the body. <laughs>
much better. And no, I did not spend 12 hours making this stool. So without further ado, cloisonne time. So we're gonna start with the fun process of tracing everything with this golden flat wire. I'm gonna start on the head in case I run out of wire so I can still finish the whole head and then proceed with the making of the whole neck with the fretboard and all that jazz. So without further ado, the fun process, right? Yeah! But don't you worry about a thing, I'm gonna explain everything how I do it and all that jazz, I just need to get a hang of it so I know what I'm talking about. It's been probably a couple of minutes, but for me, it's been about eight hours of complete mind bending, sticky situation, and all the shenanigans. But it's completed. I was going to order more of this flat wire. Don't worry, I still have a bit more, but probably won't be enough for the whole guitar. So, next step adding colored sand to the head. And now, we are the colorful part of the guitar build. I'm gonna use colored sand to fill all these little gaps between the wire using a dropper. I'm gonna explain everything I do later once I have the knowledge of how you do it. So I have a laptop screen right there so I know what colors go in. So yeah, let's get to coloring. And now that this is complete, we can seal everything with emulsion. So let's go. So it's been three days since I made this. It's all nice and dry. So it's ready to receive its epoxy to protect it. Everything's leveled and checked for level. So we're ready to pour epoxy. Let's go! Here we go!
And this is going to do it for today's episode. We had enough hardships, fun. It was colorful, it was fun. So without further ado, this is going to do it for today's episode because we don't have the time to dive into anything else. So, wanna add anything else? The patrons, darn it. The patrons, the patrons, of course. Thank you, Invaris. Thank you, Mara. And most of all, thank you to Scrims, who wants to be a manager, but not really, because she wants to keep that position for Lily. So, thank you for joining me, and see you later or in the next episode. And good night. Oh, 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 o